Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to delete terrain in the Roblox games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you'll want to have Roblox open. And I am currently uh, working on one of the uh, pre-made games, the uh, Pirate Island, uh, that you can find in your Roblox Studio. And so uh, to find the terrain editor, what you want to do is be in uh, the Home tab. And so you want to click on Home. And then you'll see that in the, near the middle top, there's a terrain editor. And it's just uh, named editor. And so you will want to make sure that that is on. So make sure it's gray. And then you can go over to the left-hand side of your screen. Now, one way that you can do this is to just go ahead and have the Create tab clicked. And then just click on Clear. And then it'll ask you if you'd like to clear all the terrain. You could say yes. And then that will get rid of the terrain. Now, you can notice that there's still all the other uh, parts and models still uh, in Roblox Studio. So uh, if you don't want to get rid of those, you just have to you know, drag and um, select them and then press Delete on your keyboard. So that's one way. Um, if you want to undo anything that you've done, go ahead and just push Control-Z. Um, so that's one way. Uh, now, the other way to do this is to go ahead and uh, click on the edit uh, tab in the train editor and you'll see that there is a uh, an option for subtract and so I'm gonna go ahead and click on subtract and that's gonna give me some brush settings and what this is gonna do is going to subtract the um, you know the size that I and, and shape that I tell it to so right now we have a base size of six I'm gonna go ahead and make that pretty large and you can see what the base size will be when you go into the studio uh, so, and then I'm going to do a square that makes it a little easier. Let's go a little smaller than that, maybe. Okay. And then it's going to ask you a couple things like a uh, plane lock, which I'm going to do that. That helps you with, um, you know, which directions you're going in when you're uh, deleting the train. And then ignore water. So you'll see what happens. So I have that. Um, so right now it says it's going to ignore the water. So that means it will leave the water there. Um, after deleting it. So what you need to do is then just uh, left click and then just drag and you can see that it is now deleting uh, the terrain. Now I found that the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and just uh, zoom way up on your terrain so that you can see more of it. And I like to be um, basically like right on top or like right over the center of it so I can see more of what I'm doing. And again, so I'm going to just delete the terrain and you can see it's leaving the water there. Now, if I would like it to also remove the terrain and the water, so I'm going to go back to the left, and then it says instead of ignoring the water, I'm going to just uh, click that off. So now it will not ignore the water, so that means it will delete the water too. So you can see now when I left click, it will delete the water also. So it's deleting all the elements of the terrain. And again, this is going to be helpful if you're making an obstacle course or an obby uh, game, um, if you want to delete the terrain. Um, and then, um, so at the beginning, we, we showed you how to do the clear from the train editor. You can also do the same thing from your Explorer tab. So if you go over to the right-hand side, make sure you have your Explorer tab open. Again, you just go up to View and then Explore. Just make sure it's open. And you'll see it gives you several options under the workspace. And one of them is terrain. And there, you could just right-click on that and then delete that. That would also uh, delete the terrain like we did before. Um, and then if you have a base plate, you can do the same thing. So if you have a base plate there and you like to delete it, you can also delete that. If you're having some issues whenever you spawn, you want to check and see uh, if you have um, things anchored or not. And so just check your anchor settings um, when you respawn if you're, if you're making an obby. So um, that will be helpful in the future. You now know how to delete uh, or remove the terrain in uh, the games you are creating in Roblox Studio. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I will put links to those around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.